All right. Hey there, Sagittarius. So I'm doing a quick energy check-in. This is a new moon love manifestation. So you're going to know this is your read based off your energy and what you are manifesting, what you're calling in when it comes to love. So it's all about having faith in yourself and your manifestation abilities. All right. I'm going to start with Oracle cards and I'll clarify your energy with tarot. And if this intro energy doesn't resonate, you guys, please check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope to have you subscribe. I hope you subscribe if you like my energy. So you're coming through with camera and stabbed in the back. All right. So reminiscing, keepsake perception, learning from the past and making memories. Stabbed in the back is heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shock. Okay. So what you're manifesting, you and your loved ones are safe. Dang, I can't help but feel like maybe y'all are going through something pretty uh, vicious right now. Okay. Um, obviously, I feel like you have been feeling maybe like you were stabbed in the back by somebody who was supposed to be very near and dear to your heart. You got the new moon in cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So just know that whatever you go through, um, trials and tribulations, even when it comes to love, even if it's only affecting you directly, you got to know, okay, that you... And the dynamic of your life is protected and safe. Um, let's just see. You guys could actually be going through something pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. You got, look at this, the three of swords, the nine of swords. You got the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles. I'm almost feeling like, um, so the moon, the new moon read is what you're calling in. It's what you're manifesting. And this could just be a healing dynamic through somebody who is very selfish Somebody who didn't protect your energy or protect you, your peace of mind or your heart space. Okay. And it doesn't have to be that your whole family's in trouble or, you know, say you got kids. It could just be that, you know, you invited somebody into the most intimate details of your life. Okay. It doesn't matter if they're somebody that you've known for a long time or somebody new. I just kind of, I can't help but feel like it's like you're putting yourself out there. You're being vulnerable. And then somebody completely came through and kind of twisted up what you're seeing. So you could be looking for closure or just healing through this dynamic um, so that you could be healing yourself for what's to come next. And it's not that we're healing ourselves intentionally just for love, but I cannot help but feel like you guys have gone through something pretty, pretty big. And I can't help but feel like what you guys are wanting most right now in this next 30, you know, the 30 day new moon to the next 30 days new moon is um, great healing. So let's just see. I got to see like who, what, who is this person that you're dealing with? You got Scorpio, Sagittarius, um, you got Gemini and we have uh, Gemini, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Aquarius with the, the magician. You got the Eight of Swords, which is going to be Gemini. And then you got Sagittarius and Scorpio. All right. So, okay. You have the Ace of Cups right here, which is a depiction of new love. Um, I cannot help but feel like as far as the person um, coming towards you or the person that has to deal with this connection. And I'm going to say this. I almost feel like you guys could just be kind of seeing energetically what's happening in your life. It could be that you're not even calling anyone back to you. Okay. But there are two energies. There's the magician and the king of wands. And to me, the magician is divine masculine. You have the king of wands also. Um, so it could be that you're kind of dealing with two situations and perhaps you let one situation go to call in another or another came in and somebody is completely, it's like there's a false, um, there's a false sense of love or a false sense of the illusion of love. All right. Um, the eight of swords is, is it's like this. You could have met somebody new who is in this energy of divine masculine and somebody from the past came back. All right. Or somebody in the past has just been kind of hovering over this energy, over your energy. I just, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. You guys, I got to see a little bit more about this. What's happening. You guys could be torn between two. Look at that. The queen of wands. You got the empress card. You're, I feel like you're dealing with a, a two. So somebody could be coming through in your past. Maybe you were once married to this person. You meet somebody new who feels like more of a soulmate dynamic. 
And it could be that you were once married to somebody in the past that didn't, it didn't work out. You could actually have kids with this um, person right here. And it could be that somebody from the past is actually kind of sabotaging anything um, new. I cannot help but feel like that's what you guys are dealing with. You got divine feminine energy through the empress and divine masculine energy through the magician. You got the king and queen of wands. So it's not going to be very simply, easily to let go of somebody from the past if you were actually married to this person, I have feel like you guys are actually, you're dealing with somebody who's kind of sabotaging your future, what you really want to happen. It's like your hopes and dreams when it comes to love and stability. It's almost like your shock is coming through um, because this person is supposed to have your back. They're supposed to be there, right? If you guys have kids with this person, I feel like they could be interjecting themselves into your love life in such a way that it's actually preventing you from actually moving forward. And that could be where that stabbed in the back energy is coming from. It's almost like somebody from your past, somebody that, that, that failed, it was a mistake, it was not meant to be, is preventing progress from the future. That's heavy. So let's just see what changes are coming to, to the, your situation. This is definitely different. Um, what changes are coming to your connection? Obviously, this is going to be with the divine counterpart that's coming through here. Look at you got conflict and resolution. So if your person, if there's somebody from the past that totally and completely made an ass of themselves and you feel like they ruined something with somebody of the future, you got to know that's going to be healed. You got the Hierophant card coming through, which is all about order and rules and stabilizing the connection. And you have the Nine of Pentacles showing up. So if this person has prevented progress from you being unioned with somebody, they prevented the new beginning, they've they've ruined it or killed it, whether it was unbeknown or known to you, that is going to be healed. And I feel like it's your connection with somebody moving forward, which you feel a more soul connection. You could have 18 kids with this person over here, but you feel more energetically drawn to this person over here. And I feel like what's being healed is a dynamic with this person over here. And you might not come out of the singlehood, okay? But I really feel like this person over here that you're more divinely attuned with is going to be able to see that this past energy was a complete mistake not your fault okay so let's just see what their next move is or the next changes i'm going to say that the next changes coming between you and this person you got the king of pentacles you have the three of pentacles and then we have the tower card so what i see right here is where you guys have maybe uh there's been like some energy that's been dislocated with that tower. I feel like that's going to be rebuilt. All right. The tower card is a negative card, but it's also a catalyst for positive growth and change. Okay. And maybe the king of pentacles is a Virgo or somebody that you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's really very near and dear to you. They're going to come out of this tower moment. I feel like the next phase is coming back, aligning yourselves to the tune of friendship and then manifesting a positive future moving forward. So where we've had confusion, illusion, disregard, discontentment, the hangman card, I feel like you guys are going to be able to at least talk your way out of that and be able to actually lay down what's actually going on. I feel like this energy is just what you've experienced, but it has nothing to do with the soul partnership that's coming through on the other end of this read. Cause I feel like you got one over here and one over there. All right, so let's just see, um, let's just check a little bit more about what's coming through next. You got the five of coins, so where you've had some heartbreak, you've, you've felt some screwed over energy right here. You got the nine of cups, that even just popped in reverse. I really feel like you guys are going to be popping out of that. So it's going to be the, dif it's going to be the absolute difference of the lack of wish fulfillment. Okay, what you need to know is this, is that your energy is protected, you and whatever you got going on in your household is protected. So don't dwell and stew on what might come back. Okay. I'll tell you guys this when I, back in the day, all right, before I, right before I learned about manifestation and calling what I want in, my ex would always come over and he would come over unannounced and he would come over and just kind of fuck with me and my, my, it's like you, this is not your house. It's my house by myself. I purchased it. I own it outright. Like it's my house. Stop showing up. And then he would show up so much that I found myself speaking out loud. You know, I hope that he doesn't come by today. I hope he doesn't come by today. Well, I seen this one person on YouTube and they, they said, you know, um, um, the universe doesn't recognize negative connotations. So if you say, I don't want this person to show up, you, 
the universe only hears, I want this person to show up because the universe and God does not recognize negative connotations. I stopped saying don't. I stopped even thinking about this person altogether. And then it was probably about one and a half, two years. He didn't even show back up until he was able to kind of fix himself and heal himself and start to have that relationship with the kid that we have together. Okay. So I really feel like what you're, what you're being told or what your manifestation is, is don't, don't think about what you don't want. Think about what you do want coming through here. Think about your vision for the future. Don't think about what is rough. Think about what you want. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it right there just because I feel like you guys are having a little bit of more difficult energy coming through this read. The other ones weren't so heavy, but I feel like you guys are actually dealing with something that's pretty serious to you. Um, so just think about what you do want to call in. Let go of this energy. All right. And just know that you are protected. All right. So initials coming through this read, we have BG. And even if your your intention is just, I want to be safe and protected to the next the next goal, which is the next 30 days. And then you can strengthen whatever bond was sitting over here. I feel like somebody ruined it, you guys. I, S, and T, X. Think about positive things only, you guys. I love you so much. I really hope that you guys are, are safe. And I'll send some extra prayer to you guys. Take care.